Hey, I'm Julie Fayfan Balzer, and I am super duper excited to announce a new product that I've designed. So this is printed shrink film from Graphics. And so the shrink film is white, and you can see I have a design that's eyes, and then art supplies. There's one that's all tarot designs, and then one that has a sort of like overall pattern you can see here. And then you can even get a variety pack, which is gonna give you a sample Oops, there you go, of all of them. So really cool. So let me show you exactly how they work. So here's what the sheets look like out of the package. They're eight and a half by 11, I believe. Let's measure it to make sure. Uh, but yeah, eight and a half by 11. So the background is white and it's printed in black and you can see it's kind of glossy. They're pretty thin. I would say it feels like a piece of cardstock. Uh, and then the art supplies are here. I love these tarot designs, which are super duper fun. And then, of course, the eyes have it. So there are a bunch of different things you can do with these. If you want, you can just leave them black and white, and then you can take a pair of scissors, and you can cut them out to use them. So I'm gonna grab these two little eyes here. So I could take the time to cut around every single eyelash or I can just sort of do a general cut. It's up to you what you want, what the finished result that you want is. You could also give them a haircut if you wanted. Let's do that and just cut some of those eyelashes off. shrink plastic meaning they're gonna shrink when I heat them so I'm just putting them in here so it doesn't fly around I also have a skewer here if I want to hold it because I don't want my hand in here and I'm gonna use a heat gun now to melt so you can see it flew around quite a bit but look how much smaller it is now than when it started so this is the original and this is shrink so it gets fatter and sturdier right or the original. So let me shrink the other one. You always wanna wait a moment for it to cool because it's very hot. Oh, that's still a little too hot. Once they're cool enough to touch, then you can go ahead. I just have some little adhesive dots here and I'm gonna press it to the back. This is this is just a piece of plastic now. So you, anything, any glue you would use to adhere plastic. But there's one eye. And here is the other. And how fun is that now in this little altered book, adding that dimension? It's just really cool and easy. So you don't just have to leave it black and white. You can also use markers or paint or colored pencils, whatever you like. And you can go ahead and add some color in. It's all colored and a couple things to point out. You know, I didn't stay totally in the lines. You can see some places I have stripes, I've added dots, um, I've added extra things that aren't there. The idea is just to play around and have fun and relax. I've left some areas white because I like that look, but you certainly don't have to. But now it's time to cut it and shrink it. I have cut my shrink plastic in half and then in half again, uh, this is just using a paper trimmer. Now I have a hole punch and I'm gonna make book covers out of this. So these are gonna be two covers. So the holes will need to match. So I'm going to put them wrong sides together. Okay, just like this. And now I have punched three holes. You can really see it on this side. So it doesn't matter that the holes aren't evenly spaced because I know they match because I had them together. So now I am ready to shrink each half. So you have to be patient but slowly, slowly, it does flatten out. And look how much the colors intensify. That's one of the things that always amazes me, is if you look at what the colors looked like before, they seem very light. 
And then when you look at the shrink, the shrunk version, it's much more intense. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink the other half and put my book together. So here is my finished book. You can see I just filled it with plain paper, my little punched holes, and these are just jewelry jump rings that I put through. But now, and actually maybe it goes this way, maybe that's the front, or maybe this is the front, or does it even matter, maybe it goes this way. But this is such a fun and easy way to use this printed shrink film to make all kinds of things. And of course, I have another huge piece that I've already colored that I can go ahead and do whatever else I want with. Thanks so much for watching. If you're looking to purchase these, I know that Dick Blick is carrying them. Um, I'll put some links in the notes of anywhere else that I can think of or that I hear of that's going to be selling them. Um, be sure to visit my blog at ballsdesigns.typepad.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, visit the graphics website at graphicsarts.com.